next on the national. <laughs> losing her sight, but rather than let blindness hold her back, she took one of her passions and literally ran with it. Clawita is a world-class runner. This weekend, she competes in the International Paralympic Championships in New Zealand. But before she left, producer Diane Grant managed to catch up with her. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Noah. Yeah. No, you do my hair funny, didn't you? <laughs> Turn it up, cut. Okay. She was born Christmas Day. Oh my god! <laughs> It's a race she knows she will lose because Noella is slowly going blind. No one wants to hear that they're losing their sight at when they're in their early 20s and, you know, it can either be a big stumbling block and I can feel sorry for myself or I can use it as a stepping stone to, to achieve better things. She stepped onto the track for the first time in May 2008. Within two years, Noella broke several Canadian That's records crazy. and won gold medals at the Pan American Games, all while her sight kept declining. So now she runs with a guide to keep her in her lane. When Natalie Cote took on the job of coaching Noella, she saw someone who was focused and determined. She was strong mentally, she was motivated to do better, she was willing to, you know, she was like, okay, I can come out four times a week, I, I know I live in Carlton Place and I don't have rides, but I'll figure it out and I'll come out and I'll, you know, do what I gotta do. Okay, here's some of your favorite pictures. Oh, Aww. my wedding handsome. I love that picture. I know, eh? Oh, to Rios, Jamaica. This is her place in Carlton Place. Perfect day. Yes. You look stunning. I help out. Where I can, when I can, unfortunately, because I work shift work. There's there's a lot of times where I'm not able to 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 drive in the law. One of the many things I love about her is just her her outlook on life and how she will not let this get her down. See how nice their place is. No one can't run as a road on her own anymore. But they've come up with a solution: rollerblades for Derek. <laughs> <laughs> She's now lost her right eye completely, and she only has less than five percent sight in her in her left eye. Um, I can't talk to her before today. Seven. Good. They are still um, still figuring it out through genetic testing. They're looking at either best disease or. Um, Retinal vitreo chordopathy. <laughs> <laughs> Here She's is so the cute. center of the retina. And as you know, in your case, you have a scar in the center of your retina, and that's why there's um, you have to look around in order to see better. Can they just replace well, their retina? A book like this, and and that's you know, it. trying to search for something or whatever, it just breaks my heart. Why can't she get a retina but test? She's a That's what I was saying. She's a wonderful lady. She's a fantastic lady. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Me. started long before her running career. This 33-year-old businesswoman owns two Curves fitness centers. She started oh. as a manager and then bought the franchises. Her staff fill her in and support her whenever she has to train or go to a championship. <laughs> <laughs> what about Thursday, September 2nd to meet? Want to go for lunch and we'll discuss. Oh, I miss her. Now, she's decided to go back to school as well. Oh, I got accepted to do my master's. Oh, in human kinetics. Congratulations. With the Thank best you. people in the world. Uh, University of Ottawa. Yeah, yeah. Good for you. I'm nervous and excited. So all the time. Go. How long is <laughs> Good for you. And then when you're done, you basically 
I'll keep going. I'll get my PhD. <gasps> Did she really just say that? But long before that, she wants to make it to the Paralympics, London 2012. And she has some young fans who want this just as much as she does. The kids are from Calvary Christian Academy, an elementary school near her home. give Noella constant encouragement. Aww. Go, Noella. Go. The kids have decided to send her a letter every day until she makes it to the Paralympics in 2012. Going to the mailbox is kind of the highlight of my day. Yeah, Derek mm -hmm. laughs at me a little bit, but uh, <laughs> it empowers me. It uh, reminds me why you I'm should send her letters. Yeah. It makes me more than anything want to make you guys proud. Today's big send-off is for the World Track and Field Championships in New Zealand. This movie lasts a long time. Yeah. Noella will compete as a member of the Canadian Paralympic team. The neat thing about it is, I, I'm sharing my story here, but each and every one of these people on this team has a story. Whether they were born with a disability, whether they were born blind, or born with CP, or whether they you know, were injured in Afghanistan or had an accident at some point in their life that put them into a wheelchair, everyone has a story and every single one of those people has overcome something to be the best at what they do. The Ottawa Lions Twilight Series, one of the last officially sanctioned meets in the 2010 season. Uh -huh. It gives athletes one last chance to improve on their <laughs> personal best times. Mia Santoban will be Noella's guide tonight. Some of Noella's friends from the school are here to see her race. She's trying to break a Canadian record for the 1500. Who are they? I think people from Carlton Place. Oh, that's her sister. Oh, and not from York Fort. Or a niece, sorry. She has broken the Canadian record by four seconds. She gonna throw up? She always throws up after her race. Derek and I just want to have a happy life and achieve our goals, so, uh, yeah, London 2012, and to have Derek there watching me as I... Aww. Aww. Like, I hear she has to run the back of my head. Constable Gorgeous. Right? Constable Gorgeous. Yeah,